Welcome to iMovie for the iOS 5. We're going to start by opening a timeline. First open iMovie. When you hear the cool iMovie sound, you know you're in. And now we're going to open an actual new file by hitting the plus button. And this is where we start. A lot of films will be made using still photos and we'll put them together, often using the uh, so-called Ken Burns effect. But first you need to find the actual shots, the still images, to take and take them from your camera roll and you're going to bring them into your iMovie timeline. You can see that I hit the insert media button and then I get a choice of uh, both uh, f still photos or video or audio. And as I'm continuing to pick still images, you'll see it's nice to have them already in a folder so you can actually find them rather than going through the hundreds of things in your camera roll. Obviously, you're going to want to name your project so you can save it later on. And uh, when you upload it to YouTube, it'll have the same name, and that'll be a good thing. And so this is pretty straightforward. So now you can see your movie's name up there in lights. And we can do a couple other things here. On the setting, hit the settings button in the top right hand corner, and you can do some stuff with themes and uh, theme music, stuff like that, a little bit about fading to black, though, that, though it, in truth that's a pretty pathetic fade to black, it's, it's about a microsecond. I will show you another way to do it that works a lot better. Titles are whenever you have words on the screen, uh, sometimes for the title but often for other things, and transitions are when you move from one shot to the next. If you click on an image down in the uh, timeline, you will get the choice of, of bringing in a title, and there you can uh, choose different styles and whatnot, and now you can see I'm typing in the actual title, and then we'll say done. done. In this case, I'm choosing the opening format, which is different than the other ones. I'll, I'll do a, a ending one at the end of this film but I like this one because it gives you a little bit more room. So you can see I'm touching the icon, it's in between the shots on the timeline and here I will get a choice of three different types of transitions, the jump cut which is none, just a cross fade which they call cross dissolve and then there's the theme which takes us with put some funny graphics across the screen. Uh, and you can see I can set the timing a little bit. Not a lot of control but it's a start. So another great way of making a transition is to have black between things. And I'm going to show you now how to do that. Uh, basically, you're going to take a still or a video shot of something black. Uh, I'm actually going to use slate here for a slightly classier approach. But you can do anything you like. If you really want a real black, look for something a little bit uh, more solid and flat in terms of color. major part of movie editing is moving the shots around, putting them in the order you want. In uh, iMovie, you're just going to uh, put your finger on that part of the timeline for a little while and then you can lift it up and drag it where you want it to go. In terms of lengthening shots, you can see also that we uh, you're just grabbing these little tabs that come when you touch the shot on the timeline and you can drag it bigger or smaller and it works out pretty well. Uh, not fine control, but it, it does the basics. As you no doubt guessed, I'm talking to you through the magic of the voiceover. This is how you can do it. Hit the voiceover button there on the left. Wait for it to go to the countdown. Oh, have to hit record first. Three, two, one, and now you start talking. Welcome to How to Make a Movie in iMovie, iOS 5.
after you hit the accept button then the uh, voiceover shows up as that purple bar and you can pull it and move it and drag it and chop it etc to do whatever you want with it now we're going to do the uh, the real gold medal level stuff here I'm doing the Ken burn stuff so panning is when you move the camera it looks like you're moving the camera and cropping is when you're making adjustment to the size and the zoom of your image. So here I got this nice picture and I'm going to, once I tap on its image down the timeline it comes up I get a choice. I can then control the start and the end take me there and now with my fingers I can zoom in and I also can move to the other end of the thing and I'm going to adjust, I'm going to move it so that it actually looks like the camera is moving on these things or that the person himself is moving. That's the Ken Burns effect. Of course, even Ken Burns can't fix some images. So there's a couple of problems you might have. One is if you're, uh, you go to take a picture and the lens doesn't seem to open. And one thing you can do there is to plug in your sync cord to the, into a powered source and usually that will bring it back to life. It's sort of like rebooting a PC. And you can see that work there. Another way you can deal with that is to switch between the camera and the video thing. Usually the camera will come on first, so that fixes that problem. Another problem you might have is when you first start and it doesn't really recognize that you have photos in your camera roll. And this is usually because the location services thing is gotten has reset itself to the wrong thing. So you'll clear the screen, you'll go back to the home page, find your settings tab, there we go, and in there you will find location services right there and you're going to make sure it's set for on for iMovie. Work your way back through and reopen iMovie and you're good to go. Lastly, uh, your picture may be sideways, so if you just do this little twisting action, it'll fix it. Pretty amazing, huh? So, yeah, I know, it's astounding. That's that. And now it's time for you to make your own film. <laughs>